I saw a picture of Christ on the wall, and I said, uh, hey, Mommy, uh, is that Santa Claus? You know, tell me why this is true, not what you think is true. Tell me why this is true. I was in the 11th grade before they discovered that I couldn't read. And God reached down and said, all I need is some raw material. And I was good raw material. I had to learn to read and learn to read the Bible. Faith that saves us is not an unreasonable faith. A drunk staggered by. He said, you're not supposed to be doing this. She reached down and he said, if you say anything about Christ in this house again, I'll beat you to death with this poker. I'm either going to have to get answers or stop witnessing. We cannot know ourselves truly unless we know our God truly. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Bottom line is Jesus is the Son of God and the Bible is the Word of God. Most people state the Bible is true and 95% of Christians all over the world and many pastors can't defend it. You can't deny truth. You can't deny what truth is. His legacy is to show that to be saved does not mean to lose the mind. You don't have to just believe it. You can know that it's true. People would say, I've never seen anybody do something like this before. It opened doors. It was way ahead of his time. He paved the way. Walked out of that classroom, and I looked up and I said this prayer. God, I've always believed you were there. Now I know. All things are possible with God. But then in our day and age, we're like, okay, well, we, we still need role models to follow. Who's a hero to lead us into battle? How do we fight this war? I think that's what your dad was. And so, you know, in, in the movies, when your hero shows up, you know that, that you're safe. You know, the enemy's not. And you have somebody to, to rally behind. These guys that he debated, most of them had PhDs in philosophy, but they had never heard uh, a rational defense of Christianity and so they kind of didn't know what to do with him, you know? They, uh, they, they just thought uh, that he was just going to come in and wave the Bible and quote a few scriptures, and that's it. And uh, they were not prepared. Uh, they pointed out, you know, all the times in debates that my father would quote from their books. <laughs> so they're like, if, if they're saying something that contradicts something that they said in their books, he would quote their books. Most of the people I debated were PhDs in philosophy. But most of them have never heard a rational defense of the Christian faith. And it surprises them. Because, you know, whenever you go into battle, there there's a cost to war, especially for the war for truth. Yeah. And, you know, looking at his life, you recognize, and he used to say there are two fears in life, fear of God and fear of man. Right. Never let your fear of man trump your fear of God. It has no reality, just like darkness has no reality when you turn on the light bulb. It disappears. Some of them were finally admitting, yes, I've struggled with those questions as well. You're giving me the freedom to ask my questions. If I'm going to stand up for this, I might lose my job over it. I could lose my reputation over it. I could lose publishing deals over it. And in so many ways, Dr. Geisler used to talk about the, you know, we got to defend the truth. And yes, there's a real life of, you know, you got to pay your bills and you got to do these things. But he would talk about institutions like a marriage and say, mm -hmm. praise the Lord for the one that you get and praise the Lord for all the ones you didn't get. Not only keep our own faith from going shipwreck. Yeah, truth by definition demands uh, confrontation. And as Schaefer said, loving confrontation, but confrontation nonetheless. And it, you know, truth is something that we need to take to our society. You know, we live in a post-Christian world, and in many ways, the way to engage that that culture today is we have to stand upon the view of truth, God, and the Bible that your dad 
presented us, I think a lot of people remember him for things related to arguments for the existence of God, but he also dealt with the arena of, of ethics and how that applies to society. <laughs> Two quotes stand out for me that really tie in with what you said there, Bill. Uh, you know, God has truth. Truth is on God's side. And then the second one was, your feeling is not a good test for truth. Right. And I think that just captures it so well. You know, this is the truth. This is where I stand because this is where God stands. And I'm not going to move. We're, you know, honestly, with all this going on in our culture right now, uh, there will be that threat. Hi, I'm David Geisler, and I'd like to invite you to check out our upcoming movie at normgeislerthemovie.com, where you will learn how God can work through you to change history, even if you feel not qualified.